Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Martina Parker and today we're going to talk about how to host a small event for this Christmas during the COVID season. So you are interested in learning how I'm going to do it? Just keep on watching. Let's head into the kitchen. But while I'm going into the kitchen, I want to talk to you about adjusting. And if you are like me, you have trouble adjusting to change. Sometimes it just is so overwhelming. And during this COVID season, I can see how it can be that way for many of you because it was that way for me. So you want to have your old traditions. You want to do it the way you used to. You don't want to change. And I can feel you on that. So let's talk a little bit about how to change in a healthy way. Okay, guys, if you're like me, you have trouble adjusting to change. Ooh, it can be quite annoying. But I'm gonna give you a few tips that have helped me adjust to change and embrace my new normal during this COVID season. Tip one, don't fight the change. It's necessary and it's gonna happen with or without you. Being resistant, all that's going to do is just cause you undue stress. And it's gonna make you a little testy. You're gonna get where you will pop off, snap at people. It's not a good look, not for pretty praisers. So leave that alone. Just embrace that sometimes change is necessary and lean into it. Lastly, because you don't have as many people to entertain, don't stress out about it. This is going to be one of the best holidays because I won't have the stress of cleaning the whole house, entertaining a lot of people, fixing the food, buying the food, um, the electricity bills, and then cleaning it all up. I won't have that stress because there's only going to be a few of us this year. So enjoy the fact that this could actually be one of your better holidays because you'll be so stress free. Okay guys, I'm actually going to serve and stage all of the food here in my eating area in the kitchen, but we're going to actually sit in the family room which will allow us all enough room to social distance as well as still watch TV and talk and enjoy ourselves. So on this center island, I'm going to stage all of my hot items and I'm going to stage them in shaving dishes and I have my centerpiece ready to go. So this is where I'm going to have the four hot items. I'm only going to serve four hot items. I'm doing this more hors d'oeuvre style versus a traditional Christmas dinner because that works best for me and it's going to be less stressful. On this side of the room, my kitchen table, I'm actually going to use this area to stage all of the cold and desserts. So I have this three tiered tray that I got from Aldi. It costs $14.99. If you are not hip to Aldi's home and entertaining section, I would advise you to go make a trip. They sell everything from pillows to organizational items to um, items for uh, decorating and for entertaining. So this is the three tier um, set from Audi. I'm going to use this tray that is a vintage tray that I got from a thrift store years ago and she is bone china so you can find some great things at thrift stores and she has a gold overlay on her handle and so I'll be using her to uh, stage some of the smaller items that I want to serve I always do a berry and chocolate tray or something like that so I probably stage that there I have another tray that I got from a thrift store that still has that beautiful gold overlay in it and I'll be staging items on it. Maybe I will do the salad here. I was doing a combination of a pasta and a tall salad. Since we don't need much, I probably would do um, that on this tray and just split it in half. And then I will do dips and sauces in this item right here. So it doesn't take much for you to entertain. Um, and you will be able to lay out a really stellar layout that still gives you functionality and without giving you that extra stress. After uh, we have eaten, I'm not sure we're going to have tea or anything, but if we do, I'll probably use these teacups here. They are um, bone china as well with, gr uh, with the gold overlay. And what I love about this cup is that it has its own topper that keeps it warm once you steep your tea and you can steep your tea right in the cup. So that's probably what we'll do after dinner while we're just watching movies um, and hanging out or we can have some uh, drinks or something like that. But it'll be something very simple using what I already own 
and making use of those items in a beautiful way. I don't use the white and gold tray for salads. I may use one of these bowls. They are normally dessert bowls. Um, but they look really nice with salad in it, so I'll give it some thought and see which one. You tell me. Drop down in the comments and tell me which one you would use. The white and gold tray or the crystal bowl. Okay, guys. That's it. Short and sweet. I hope this video has helped someone uh, feel better about entertaining on a smaller scale this year, even though we may be used to the larger entertaining of Christmas. But just remember, the reason for the season is Christ. And if you have that in your heart, you are way ahead of the game. So thanks so much for watching. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas.